Hey and welcome back to a new mowing tutorial. So in this tutorial we will have a closer look on how to work with the different painting modes here on the paint through tool. So when I remember back when I was a bloody beginner I was quite confused about this painting options here. So I have only used no stencil which made a pretty hard painting time here in Mari. But trust me it's pretty simple as soon as you understand it. So before we start here, I want to show you here my pretty nice plane. So it has a basic gray color here and a red color which goes over it with a merge node. To create here some cool looking mask data, we can press P on the keyboard to create the paint node. Here we have a black color with alpha of 1 and we are dealing with scalar data. Now let's hook it up here into the mask input. Great and the red is gone. So here in my image manager I have two textures. One texture is from my texture pack which I have available on Gumroad. They are pretty nice to paint some mask stuff or roughness, roughness, details and so on. I will put the link into the description. But let's jump here now into Mari. So let's start here with the no stencil option. The no stencil option means you will paint the actual color data which is stored in the texture. This is great when you're painting some, some color stuff or you are painting some, some seams, seams away and stuff like that. But for, for mask stuff, it's not that great and I will show you why. So as I said, we will paint the actual color data which is stored here in the texture, in this case, white and black. And that's how it looks like. So far so good you will say, but I will show you the problem which will create or which will come with that. Let's say we will paint another drop here and as you can see the other drops they are in Nirvana or on the way to Valhalla, whatever. That's not what we want, so we want to be smart, right? So we can clear it, do a new paint node, same values. Or same settings, hook it up. So we are smart. We are using here the luminance value or the luminance paint mode. The luminance paint mode means it takes only the right part into consideration. So everything which is black or which doesn't have luminance values, it doesn't take it into account. So it just takes the white parts and in the white parts it will paint the color which you have selected here on the left side. So in this case we want to paint some white values here in the white parts and we can paint to get our nice drop here. Let's bake it down. Let's say we want to paint our second drop here and as you can see it paints only in the white areas. Now let's say, oh yeah, I don't like how, 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 fully, how full it's here on the top. So let's go press X on the keyboard to invert here the color on the left side. Now we are painting black in the white areas. Mind blow. But look how it, how it works. Look. Nice, nice, nice. You can paint pink if you want, but we are here by creating a mask. So we only want black and white. But yeah, as I said, it takes only the white part and it paints there the color you have selected here. All right, now let's have a closer look on the second painting mode. Here we have forgot to create the paint node. <laughs> Hook it up and we are ready to go. So here we have the stencil option. The stencil option means it doesn't take the pixel information or the, the color information into account, it just takes the alpha value into account. So I have here a logo which is stored with an alpha. So we are painting here with a white color wherever the alpha is one. Great. But now let, let's have a look here. We missed two of them. So that's the inverted and also the inverted luminance. The inverted, I mean, it's pretty clear what they are doing. They're doing the exact opposite. It will paint wherever the alpha is black. So that means you can paint an inverted version of it so, or a negative if you want it. And same also on the, 
on the luminance mode. Now it will paint only where there is no luminance. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty simple. So as soon as you as you got it, you will love it. Trust me, it's it's pretty simple to work with and pretty basic knowledge, to be honest. But I remember, yeah, when I was a bloody beginner, I had a pretty hard time to understand how they work. But I hope this tutorial helped you to get a better understanding of these painting modes here. And I hope you are back on my next Mari tutorial or in general on my tutorials. And I wish you happy painting. Bye bye.